berries, persimmon, wild persimmon. Okay, oh my god, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grew up with um, my grandmother also. Uh, That's me. And um, <laughs> I was living on um, her land with my grandfather where we grew everything. And so uh, growing up now, I'm 35. I, uh, You're 35? Yes, sir. Wow, you look much, a, much younger. Thank you. But I had an affinity for the taste. I knew what food tastes like, you know, when I got older and I tasted the McDonald's and all of the processed Kroger Mart food and the regular, you know, conventional things. I knew what food's supposed to taste like because my grandfather grew it and I helped him in the garden every year. So my grandmother would send us to bake pies out of the berries in our yard or the persimmon in our trees or the pears in our trees. So I understood what food was supposed to taste like. So for me, it was very, um, I felt the ancestral call when I heard your message and listened to you talk about indigenous food, aboriginal foods, talking about uh, electricity and how we're connected to the sun as a people of the earth. And I understood that these um, four elements are the simple ways in which we can maintain our health, just returning back to nature. Very, very simple. And your message Everything was simple. simple. Yeah. And that's what I, I think resonates with I want to taste your food. Ah, I want you to taste it. I brought some I, I want to taste your food, I said, I'm going to save you coming to the kitchen <laughs> with me. And, you know, we may have made some kalaloo. Um, but I brought you some, some kalaloo. Kalaloo? Yeah. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson took me to Hawaii, right? Mm. So Michael, he's famous, I'm not. I'm just another nigga there that nobody knows about. So I'm driving the car on to Maui. Uh -huh. But I love Maui, girl. Maui's pretty. I'm going to go back to Maui. Maui is nice. Mm. Guess what I saw? Mm -hmm. I saw Kalalu growing thickness, like from this wall to this little wall here. For miles and miles and miles and miles. Wow. And the only person in Maui that's eating the Kalalu is a Jamaican from Montego Bay. Wow. When, when should I ask him? I say, hey, how come nobody eating the Kalalu? He said, man, don't tell nobody that stuff. <laughs> 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 so I said, well, what would the Hawaiian eat? They eat Spam. Do you know that the U.S. government, that company Harmel, me, they make Spam special for Hawaii. You're kidding me. And yet they got Kalalu right there. You know about Kalalu? I, I know you bad, girl. Oh, I love Kalalu. I know you are bad. Kalalu mm -hmm. is one of the most nourishing substance there is on the planet. And you want me to tell you something about Kalalu? Do you know that in the Caribbean... Kalalu seeds made a fool out of me. Emery? Kalalu made a fool out of me right in New York. I'm going to show you. <laughs> in my very wise years, I used to grow wheatgrass. Mm. And an old lady came and said, You're dumb. <laughs> she said, Oh God. Mrs. Harlemer, why is you dumb? Because you're dumb. You using that wheat grass? That's wheat. That's acid. Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I got rid of wheat, right? So when I'm in New York, I noticed that Kalalu growing all over the place. Mm -hmm. It grows in New York and Philadelphia and New Jersey. It grows here. Mm -hmm. But what the Kalalu gonna show me? that it would not show you in Grenada, in Trinidad, or in Barbados, or anywhere else but the United States, around November 